Morning fatties. This video is going to be a, uh, the first one of a, a small series about my um, descent into alcoholism and obesity and hopefully my rise out of it. But first we have to go back more than 20 years back to 1997. That was the uh, time that I left the UK and left my marriage, my disastrous marriage. And I was in a pretty shabby state at that time, I don't mind telling you, and I'd been drinking quite heavily and someone actually faced up and told me that I was putting on a lot of weight and not looking too good and sometime maybe September October of 1997 I decided to take matters into my own hands and it was like a now or never situation in those days how many of those have we had but um, I decided I had to do something about it so I went for a lifestyle change and I started to go to the gym, the sweat club in, um, in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. This one is from Google and it's supposed to be in California but it's exactly the same logo. Luckily, it was right next door to the Mikasa Hotel where we were staying, and it was a lifesaver, really. The first time I walked up the steps, it was on the, uh, uh, for us Americans, the second floor, for us Brits, the, the uh, first floor, but um, one floor up anyway, so it was as much as I could do to walk up the stairs to to get into the place and uh, I'd started off with like five minutes on the treadmill and gradually worked up and I modified my diet and of course I was a younger man in those days and things changed much much more quickly than they they do now now it's incredibly difficult to change things but my fitness level started to go up slowly and my weight started to come down and within about six months I shed all of that weight I was hyper fit I could run on the treadmill for the best part of an hour and this was the result here I am towards the tail end of 1998 with my good friend Pearl. She was lovely. She uh, was one of the people that were instrumental in mentally putting me back together again after my disastrous marriage ending. But you can see here I was in very, very good shape. Unfortunately, I never weighed myself, funnily enough, at those times, so I don't know how low my weight got, so I've got no yardstick to judge it against nowadays. But anyway, this is the kind of position I was in when I moved to America. This was, in fact, my leaving party at Astro. And taken at roughly the same time, this is a photo of Noy and myself in Phuket. And you can see here that I was in pretty good shape. Well, we both were. And once I got to the States, I also stayed in very good shape. I went to the gym every day and this lasted for years. Uh, but unfortunately, the toll started to be taken on my body and I started picking up annoying little injuries on my lower body, you know, ankles and knees starting to play up and, and whatever. And by the time 2010 came around, it was getting 
sort of too much to uh, to maintain. So my times going to the gym lessened, and eventually I kind of lost interest, and that's where the rot set in. And for one reason or another, my my drinking levels started to go up and up, and diet started to go down and down. And by the end of my working life, which was round about 2017, I was looking something like this. This is a poignant little photo taken in the Sony office. My metadata tells me it was 2016, but it seems to I would have put it as a year or so later than that. I'd been with these guys and worked with them and been friends with them ever since I came to the States in 1998. So even at this time, we realized that the writing was on the wall and the end was near and that Sony was going to fold again and probably our entire working life was going to come to an end as we knew it. This is me 2016 in Morton Steakhouse with my good friends Randy and Keith. We all shared the same birthday month, June, so we always got together at this particular time. And you can see very clearly here how much I'd slipped, how much my health had slipped away. Until I reached this stage, this was taken in Hong Kong airport 2018 and by this time I was weighing about 200 pounds. It all came to a head in a dentist surgery uh, September the 6th 2019 when I'd gone in for some dental treatment and for some reason or other they took my blood pressure and it was way off the clock and I just sat in the uh, in the ante room there feeling completely uh, despondent, depressed, uh, anxious and humiliated and I realized at that point that I was either going to improve or die. So at that point was when I decided to stop drinking. So it is May the 10th 2021 20, today and this is as I am today and the reason for kicking me into making this video or at least starting this video was that uh, I weighed myself this morning and I was down to 155 pounds so that means that since that photo was taken I've lost 45 pounds. Apologies for st skipping back to this photo for a minute but also as well as the weight was the fact that I realized that my health was in serious decline. I was riven with pains in my back and in my pancreatic region and suspiciously near my liver. My lower limbs were a complete and utter wreck with gout and whatever. This drinking luck is really serious shit. It's very true though, it's nothing more sanctimonious than a, a reformed drunk, so I'm not going to preach at you guys. But the job is not done yet. If you look at the numbers, I'm still a fat fuck, and I'll explain the reason why I'm saying that. Here is a weight for height chart taken straight from Google. And I went through life for years thinking I was five foot seven because that's what I measured when I was a lot younger. But they measured me at a medical back in the USA a few years ago and they reckon I was only five foot six. So gravity must have taken its toll over the years. Anyway, I'm splitting the difference. I'm saying I'm five foot six and a half. And you can see that my beloved 155 pounds puts me in the overweight category in the five foot six range. So absolute maximum for five, six and a half ought to be somewhere around about 150. But I'm thinking back to the 1970s, the glorious 1970s. I was 
struggling with my weight even then, but I did go on a very successful diet. And although I have no photos to back it up, I did lose a tremendous amount of weight and I managed to get myself down to what we back in those days would call the nine stone category. So for people living in the modern world, nine stone equates to 126 pounds, which seems ludicrous to our eyes now, at least to mine anyway. But to go disco dancing and look good on the floor back in the mid 70s and wear suits like this, 120 odd pounds is where you had to be for the average size guy. Anyway, what's my target now? Well, I reckon if I can get down to 10 stone, which is 140 pounds, that will be okay for my height. Now, it seems to me right now like an impossible task because if you saw my video, The Glass Floor, I broke through that 160 pound glass floor back in January 2020. So it's taken me the best part of 18 months to lose this next five pounds. At that rate, I'd have run out of time on this earth before I got down to 140. But anyway, weight loss isn't the um, primary thing anymore. It's really down to my general health to arrest the decline in, in that, my cardio, cardiovascular system and my uh, bones and joints and whatever. So anyway, I'll keep you posted on updates should I lose any more. Cheers.